Right, let's see how we're doing in the procurement situation. Looks good. Okay, you can see that this is now unlocked and that gives us a couple of new areas. A baggage claim area being one, which we'll just fill that spot with there. Um, we also, if you scroll down in items, you'll see that we've got some baggage items and uh, baggage belts are basically what transfer things across. Now baggage belts come in two flavors. If you hover over it but don't click and then try and get onto this menu without it disappearing, it's a bit tricky. You can see we've got overground and underground belts. Overground belts have to be indoors. So if you're going from one building to another, which we're going to do, then you'll need the underground belt. But uh, you need to join them together, obviously. Right. And also, you can't cross. If there's an overground belt, you can't run underneath it with an underground belt. There's a bug. It gets really confused. Just for now, at least, don't do it. So we're going to go with the overground belt for now. And if you scroll in and look, you can see we've got some arrows. And if you look even more closely, you can see they're flowing in the opposite direction to the arrows. This is a bug. It's quite irritating. Just ignore it and trust me when I say that it's going in the direction that the arrow is pointing and not in the direction that the arrows are moving. Not sure where that bug came from. It wasn't there before. That's definitely been introduced. Right, now, these um, check-in desks have these um, baggage... Let me just slow this down because I need to explain as I'm doing it. These are baggage handlers, so people put the bag on there and it starts rolling this way. So we need to catch it at this end and then pass it on to the baggage handlers, basically. So let me just get an overground one, because that's what they are. These are above the ground. And we'll come down here, like so, and I'll click that button there. Now, in this instance, that's worked out perfectly fine, but sometimes you'll find that these, because they're connected together, unlike these which have a gap, they sort of do a loop. So, uh, presumably, I've just found the solution to that. You, if you come straight past it and don't stop at either one, then it looks like it works pretty well. So we're going to run all the way down to the bottom here, to this bottom one, and then we press R to make it go the other way, and uh, that's basically how that's going to work. So these are all above ground, these ones, so we'll let the guys go and build those, and then we'll come over here and we'll start working on the underground belts. And you'll see that it automatically puts in this, uh, I don't know, a dropper. So it, it's, it's upper ground, it slides along, drops down there, and then it's on the underground. I know a lot of you probably figured that out. And you can also tell which is under and which is over by the colour. So there's a green and an orange. And what you'll see now is, interestingly, that the arrows are now flowing in the correct direction. And uh, if I go to it again, okay, so it just, it changes. Sometimes they're going the right way, sometimes they're not. Simple as that. Next thing to build is the baggage collection area. Now we just basically need to have a circle of these things. Like that. Super duper. And they need to be above ground, obviously. You can't have people climbing underneath the ground to get to them. They need to be above ground. Right. So that is that done. The next thing we need to do is build a baggage bay. Now, a baggage bay has a few necessary <coughs> fulfillments for it, let's say. Um, it needs to be a minimum of 5x5, five five, but I recommend going 6x6. Six six. And when I say that, I'm talking about a building, because this needs to be indoors. And also you can see these two areas here that need to connect to the um, to this road, which is called a service road. I forgot what it's called. Yes, a service road. I haven't forgotten at all. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Right, let's go six by six. Sorry, I am rushing through this as quick as I can. In fact, let's go seven, eight, eight by six. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Right, so when you've built the building, you then need to remove a single wall, like so. And then you can take your uh, ba -ba 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 baggage bay, rotate it to the correct direction, and pop it in there. Right, we'll wait for that to build.
so we're built. Now, there's a few things that we need to do here that uh, the tutorial doesn't particularly cover that well. Um, let's make sure that we're using underground once again. And uh, if we come in nice and close here, you can see the arrows are uh, pointing in the direction of which, so that's baggage coming in, this is baggage going out. So this stuff is going to the air, uh, this stuff here is going to the, whatever you call this, the, the carousel, and uh, this stuff is coming from the check-in desk and in onto here and then off to the plane. And what will happen is vehicles will drive in here and uh, take stuff to the aeroplanes. So we're doing pretty well. I think we might be on schedule for uh, sorting this out before uh, any aircraft turn up. So let's just make sure that we've got these arrows going the right direction. And that is that hooked up. So that is baggage coming from check-in and it runs all the way up here to this desk and that is that. Now we need this one going in the opposite direction because that is going to drag baggage out and drop it on the carousel. And again you can see it automatically builds a lower to a lower underground to overground connector there without you having to do anything. Right. Now if we try and activate this it will say verify that this baggage bay is connected to a check-in desk, a stand, a baggage claim area and a service road before activating. Okay. So there's the service road. So we've achieved that little uh, nugget, but there's a few things it doesn't really cover. First of all, we are going to need a vehicle depot. Now a vehicle depot needs to have access to this uh, service road. So we'll pop that in there and then we'll add a service road. Connection like that. Now you don't have to do this, but I just like to keep it neat and tidy and as organized as possible. So vehicle, vehicles will live there and they'll be able to drive round and get to the vehicle bay here. So that's step one. Now, this area that we dragged out here, hopefully you remember that, is called the domestic baggage claim area. Don't know why it's called that, but anyway, we need to open that room and then connect it to the baggage bay. You don't have to do it in that order, but they're the two things you have to do. Same with these. Connect each one individually to the baggage bay. Because when your airport gets super, super big, you might actually have more than one baggage bay. You don't want baggage coming here if your flight and everything's going to be this side. So in the future, that's how that will be. In addition to that, you need to do the same thing here for all of the stands. Connect baggage bay. Connect baggage bay. And you'll see that's pretty good. Now, unless I've forgotten something, that should now activate. Verify that this baggage bay is connected to a check-in desk. Yes. A stand. Yes. A baggage claim area. Yes. And a service road. Well, that's all of them. So, activate. Oh! Probably the most important thing. Operations. Overview. Turn on ramp agents. Turn on baggage handling. Open all security. And open your airport. Forgot all of that. All of those things very important. Let's try that again. Still you're not letting me. Okay, that's a little concerning. Why, 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 why for you not activate? I've got a sneaky suspicion, and I'm not seeing this error before, but I've got a sneaky suspicion. It's because I've placed it bang on the, bang on the road as opposed to slightly back off the road. I'm sure that isn't going to impact it. Right, let me just check this. That's connected. That's connected. That's con Oh! I know what I've done. Yes, I was speaking to you earlier about the importance of... Uh, let me just do this quick. The importance of um, making sidewalks for people to get to places. Because uh, only the builders can walk anywhere... So what we need to do is we need to have an area... Oh man, I did need that to be a double road. Excuse me, whilst I just correct everything that I'm doing wrong. Service road to there. Crosswalk. Perfect. 
and then hopefully just a door will allow us access into there. Let's go medium. Let's get all that built. So they should be able to walk across here, along this path, along this crosswalk, and in through the door. That's the plan. So that should activate now. Are you kidding me? Well, I haven't built the door yet, I suppose. Now, will you activate? You are really getting on my nerves. That's active. That's active. That's active. That's active. That's active. <coughs> oh. These have disconnected. Well, that's jolly odd. I wonder why that happened. Okay. Not sure how that happened. Pretty sure that I went through and did that, did I not? Okay, maybe I didn't. We'll just move on. Now, theoretically you might think this is running and perfectly fine, but you're going to run into some issues here. Or you might not. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. What happens is you get this error message pop up here with a, a question mark and like a, a power mark. We're bang on time here. We've got some flights coming in at 5 in the morning. Let me just... Oh my goodness me. Upgrade this. Right, open the runway, then upgrade it to asphalt. Build some pappy lights. My goodness me. I nearly forgot to open the flipping runway so that the uh, aeroplanes could land. That would have really made this tutorial difficult to, uh, to finalise. Right, okay. Uh, let me just check the taxiway. I have finished that, haven't I? Yes, everything looks good. Perfect. Right, now sometimes when you get this question mark and um, icon come up over here, it's because you haven't secured the area. Now, it doesn't need... It, I don't think it needs to have this. And I think it's little more than a bug. But it does seem to prefer if it's secure. Now, I won't secure this building. And on the off chance that it might potentially work without me having to do it. So, we'll see. We'll see when the flights come in. In about an hour. So, we should have some customers coming in. In fact, they've already come in, look. So, we may have missed them loading their luggage through the thing because that's the only way you really know if it's working or not is if they lo load their luggage uh, properly and then you can track it and follow it all the way whilst we're here let's just double check that all the arrows are, are lined up and facing in the right direction they look to be that all looks fine that all looks fine that all looks fine that looks absolutely fine i forgot something very important the uh the basic vehicle depot does require some vehicles and uh, it's because I'm rushing that I'm making these mistakes I think I'm gonna blame it on that so let's order a couple of these now the more planes you have the more you'll need so I'm just gonna order three and you'll see them hopefully popping up here really soon because we've got a flight coming in there he is there's our there's our little buggy and he's gonna go park in there now what will happen is they'll get some trailers and they'll come and start unloading here so we've got some passengers getting off the plane. Obviously, I don't think their baggage is going to turn up here. Doesn't look like it is. I'm a, I'm a bit concerned I might have blocked my, uh, my um, staff from getting to these desks. Uh, nobody seems to be going through security either. So, yeah, pretty pretty nervous right now. Ah, we can see the first... Ah, okay. Okay, so that's working. So they're unloading the aircraft. And you can see them chucking it onto the conveyor belt. And that should be coming through here. And there you go. These guys are waiting for their, for their luggage. So that's working perfectly. Now, it's weird because I haven't had to secure this area. But normally, there's a... If you get a question mark and they... Um, like a, a power line zigzaggy thing showing up here. That, t I don't know what that refers to, in all honesty, but it tends... Did you see it pop up then? Just for a split second it popped up. But because I've already made this a secure area, it fixes that problem. Now, clearly that's a bug, but that's how you fix it. So that's running, guys. That is a complete airport from start to finish with baggage handling. Um... And this is how you set up a basic a basic airport. That is running now. Um, there are some issues around taxiing and aircraft, but as long as you keep things neat and tidy and you leave a bit of space between them and there's not too many on screen at any one time, then you should be fine. 
it should just run and run and run and run and run. Let's watch these guys. Um, ah, now, interestingly, they're not putting their baggage on. They are, but these guys aren't. Ah, there we go. Thank goodness for that. I thought it was broken. So that goes down there into the underground area. And uh, in real time, it flows all the way underneath and we'll see it pop out here. Um, you can see there's quite a few here. Quite a few. And I'm expecting to see a baggage cart turn up any second now. Okay, maybe they're waiting for the aeroplane. There it is. Okay, let's see if this happens then. So as this aircraft comes in to park... Then we should see a vehicle come flying out of here. I don't know why he's only got one trailer. Whoa! Oh, I see. He's going to unload first. Because it's a small airplane. Okay. That makes sense. Now, um, these guys here, these staff members, you really do want to make sure you've got enough of them because this becomes a serious chokehold and all of your flights will leave late. That seems to be working pretty well. And he's going to go load this aircraft up. You can see there's one of our other buggies. Now, there's only one guy doing that, which means he's going to be super slow. Super slow. And there's another aircraft just come in. So, honestly, spend money on ramp agents. Make sure you've got lots of them. So far, so good. Now, this is a bigger aircraft, so he's got two trailers on there. But I've seen they carry anything up to seven. And I've seen maybe five. So uh, I think it just depends on how many passengers are getting on or off of the aircraft. And not so much to do with um, how big the aircraft is. But that's it, guys. That's pretty much everything you need to know. Now, one thing I've had some problems with, I'm just going to do now. This is the last thing I'll do in this video. Uh, is if I can remember where the wall is there it is so we're just gonna build an area here oops now I'm gonna try and turn this into a bathroom Ah, there we go okay so you can overlay a bathroom uh, area a room you can overlay a room over a secure area but you need to leave the secure area underneath I had an issue I removed the secure area to make it a bathroom and then nobody would go in there and I couldn't figure out why and I thought I'd just see if I could figure out what that problem was and I think that's what the problem was so let me just chuck some toilets in there like so and some sinks and uh, we'll speed things up. I just want to see if that works. Because, um, yeah, it confused the living daylights out of me uh, before. But I think, I think, I think that's what the problem was. I think it was a mistake I made. But uh, it's a good thing to share with you. Just so you know yourself when, uh, when you come to play the game. Uh, so we need to open this room and we'll leave it as any rather than male or female. So that anybody can use it. And uh, hurrah! That is working perfectly. Superb. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. Uh, bus stops are an absolute must. Make sure you've got walkways. Don't forget the door at the front, something I've done a million times. Make sure you've got these facing the correct way and you've got a queue set up. Don't forget to put some seats and a toilet in. Double security if you want things to run smoothly. That's how you make a toilet. Uh, this is a baggage claim area. That's how that's done. This is how you connect the baggage here. All goes underneath. Don't forget this building and to buy the carts. And if you get the bug, the uh, the question mark and the icon, then just make this a secure area and that seems to fix it. So that's it from me, guys. I really hope that helps you out. Uh, I know a few people are having a few problems, but that is a fully functioning airport that you can expand and do whatever you want with now. You've just got to keep an eye on the numbers and uh, make sure that you've got enough staff and enough equipment and enough gates and everything will run smoothly. Enjoy the game. It's an absolute blinder. Thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time, goodbye.